Hi, I'm Mitesh from IM Group and today I want to share with you how to install SQL Server 2012 with SP1 on Windows Server 2012 Core. So we'll start with a brand new VM that's been sysprepped and we'll run at sconfig. So from here we'll be able to set up the remote management connections and the remote desktop and then we'll check the network settings and join the machine to the domain. While we join the machine to the domain, we'll also get the option to rename the machine, so we'll do that as well. And then we'll give it a restart. So the VM we are using has also got some files and scripts that we've already copied onto it um, before the sysprep, so we'll use these scripts in the demo. They're also available to download and have a look at on the link above from my blog. So we'll have a look in this video, just have a look at a couple of these scripts, starting with the SQL configuration file, which tells SQL Server Setup what all the options are that we want, what the service accounts and features, etc. So we'll have a quick look at that. Okay, so there we can see the features. Just going to install the SQL Server engine, database engine, and the analysis services as a service account, and allow remote connections. Remember, SSRS is not supported in Server Core. That's a setup file. Usernames, passwords for the service accounts, where the configuration file lives, and also accept the license agreement. We also need to install the .NET Framework 3.5, so let's copy that and paste that into PowerShell and run that. Okay, once that's done, we need to open the firewall exceptions for SQL Server to allow connections to SQL. And then we need to run the MoffComp tool to allow us to connect to SQL Server Configuration Manager remotely. Again, these scripts are available in the blog. Okay, so we're ready to run the SQL install. So we'll insert the DVD. You could also have the files that's copied onto the VM if you like. So, but we're going to install the ISO image and run the setup script. The service accounts for the SQL Server services are already um, created in Active Directory, so they've got no special permissions or anything. We'll just run through the installer. It takes a few minutes. Once this is done, check the setup log files, and then we'll try and connect from a remote machine. So here's our remote server, which is a full GUI. We're going to try and connect to the SQL Server database and analysis services instances. You'll also need to open the port for uh, analysis services, like we did with SQL, so the scripts in the blog as well. So here we have a connection to both instances. 
Next we'll try and re remotely manage the server. So we'll add it into the list of servers that we can manage. Select computer management. And from here we can see event logs, services, as well as the SQL Server services. And from here we can also uh, do a remote desktop connection as well as reboot the server if you wanted. And there's our connection. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that useful.